A person who seems to be forever attached to us. A person can be forever attached to us, you know, like a conjoined twin. And literally leave us in the future, and we cannot do anything to stop that from happening. Ooh, dark. There are some thoughts of mine about my own life, which was unusual since birth till today. Let me tell you all about it now. We are ready to hear your crazy story, girl. I've sitting down, I'm comfortable, my belly's full. Let's go. I'm Bianca, 29 years old, from Minnesota, USA, and right next to me is my sister Emily, also 29 years old. Wait, what? Your, Your conjoined, conjoined twin, twin is also 29 years old? What are the odds of that? Who shares a lot in common with me. <laughs> Including a body, apparently, and a middle breast. We are conjoined twins. Shh, don't make noise. My sister is sleeping. Except you're literally talking next to her, but you know, we're the ones that need to be quiet. On the other side of the computer screens. Please listen to our story quietly. I promise that I will bring a lot of motivation for you. Oh, I think 29 you. years ago, when Emily and I were about to be born, our parents did not even expect a twin. Hold up, are their parents wearing tuxedo mask disguises? I'm kind of concerned by why they look like that. What happened? Let alone conjoined twins. My mother did not go to prenatal care regularly, so our birth was a big surprise. The birth was a big surprise? Like, oh no, I think they mean like them being twins and conjoined? I would hope so. I hope you wouldn't just like give birth and be like, oh, I didn't even know I was pregnant. For not only the family, the doctors, but also the public. The doctors were worried. They were like, did his nose just twitch? Watch his nose. That we- Whoa, it just like, how'd he do that? <laughs> Cannot. Incapable. Even the first night. It's okay. But we have proven the opposite. After that, our parents were faced with a difficult decision of whether to carry out surgery to separate us. Due to limited medical advances at the time, our parents worried that one or even both of us might not be able to survive the surgery, and so they decided not to do it. Therefore, Emily and I have been living together like this for 29 years straight. Aww. We share a single body, but have separate head and neck. Our breasts are, of course, wider than normal people with two separate hearts. Good to know. I didn't know they had two separate hearts. It's interesting. And obviously, we have to depend on each other to survive. Oh, that's cute. They're hugging. I wonder what fighting looks like, though. What if they, like, got into a physical fight with each other? Like, does it hurt both of them? That sounds like a nightmare. Imagine fighting with someone, and they're attached to you. You literally cannot walk away to cool down. You know, like, sometimes you get into fights with people, and you don't recover from it. Do you need to, like, create, like, a contraption between the two of you so you would never talk again? Crazy. So we learn to agree on how each person controls one side of the body. Hold on. Oh, okay, okay. They're, this is how they decide like what tasks they're doing today. Activity. Man, that's what suck. Imagine you don't feel like running, but your twin does. In my head, I'm just like picturing one of them refusing to run and the other one dragging the other side and like running. The other one's like, I'm not cooperating. The task of separately controlling our bodies sounds easy, but it is very difficult Ooh, in reality. With years of practice, we have perfected our teamwork skills. Cute. We can run, swim, bike, and even drive. On our 16th birthday, we passed the driving test with both of us behind the wheel. Emily controlled the devices on the right of the driver's seat while I managed those on the left. Wait, what's on the left? Oh, the brake, I think? I don't know. Together, we controlled the steering wheel. We did a great job. Cute. But trust me, we are two completely different people. Just because we have to do everything together doesn't necessarily mean we agree on everything. Despite sharing the same body, we have grown to be ambitious. Ambitious genies? Are they genies? What's happening here? Emily is more stubborn than me. She likes to eat a lot of meat, while I tend to be vegetarian. This is probably a forecast for Emily's future health. We share the dream of being a teacher, and we achieve that by graduating from Bethel University with a major in education and starting a teaching career. We are elementary school teachers in the U.S. right now, but we only get a salary for one person. Salary for one person? That sucks. But I guess it doesn't make sense to pay them separately because if they're teachers, they could only ever teach the same class at one time. You would never be getting the job of two teachers, except when they're like grading tests, I guess. That's the only time. Do they eat double what a regular person eats? Or do they share one stomach? Like does one of them, do they eat each eat half of one person's meal? I have so, so many questions. questions. So interesting. Because we have a unique personality and unique learning experiences, we can teach in two different ways. One can teach and the other can follow and answer questions. We are proud to be able to do more than one person. At first, everyone was concerned that conjoined twins like us would be laughed at by the children, but quite the opposite. We naturally became the inspiration for the children. Good for them. That's cute. I think it's great when people take something that's like typically viewed as a disadvantage and they like make something for themselves and they use that to their advantage, you know? You're like a constant reminder of what our small students can achieve despite adversity. Yes.
We have dreamed of launching a reality TV show to inspire people, especially children from all over the world, of okay. their ability to go beyond their limits. We all dreamed of a future of traveling everywhere to give speeches and motivate people. But one of us, unfortunately, had to stop, and that person is Emily. Wait, wait. Yes, I am telling you this story hurriedly before being taken to the operating room. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling us this story from the operating room? Shouldn't they put you under as well? <laughs> They're just gonna leave you awake while they like cut open your sister? You guys have shared the same body. I feel like you're gonna feel the pain too. Plot hole. My poor sister was unlucky to not have a healthy heart like me. In the past year, she has been suffering from heart attacks and Aww. things quickly deteriorated. We had to cancel all teaching and other daily schedules. Can you imagine the person who's attached to you having a heart attack? That must be so traumatic to go through. The only good thing about that is that at least you can like get help for the person. Cause I guess the person having a heart attack, like they can't really do much for themselves. Well, I don't know. I don't think you could I feel like you're, you're going through something. That's the silver lining to that. Because Emily got exhausted quickly. Half of our body could not move normally Aww. because Emily was not alert enough to control it. She and I had to stay in the hospital bed all the time. The doctor said that because of the nature of conjoined twins, it seems that I have received better genes. Bad, good, good at diagram. Very science, much medicine. While Emily was not so lucky. Wait, didn't she say before that Emily was eating really unhealthy and eating lots of meat while she was eating lots of salads? And I hear that. But now there's is about the genes? Make up your mind. Which one is it? And I guess because they have different genes, they're not identical twins. Because if they were identical twins, I think they have the same DNA. They warned us about the risk of death of both bodies when one body dies. Ooh, because I guess like the other body would poison the other one. So if one of them's dying, do they need to like cut them apart? That's scary. We broke down when hearing so and did not want to discuss that bad possibility further. What is this? Their tombs? Oh, okay, okay. It's, it's a pause button. I was like, what is this drawing? However, Emily's condition quickly got so much worse. Her heart couldn't resist any longer. This is so sad. I hate this. Emily had an overwhelming heart attack this morning and left me behind. Yes, that is exactly why my dear Emily is sleeping. Wait, wait, that's why she... Wait, wait, let's go back. I remember the beginning she said she was sleeping? Shh, don't make noise. My sister is sleeping. They put her under the whole time? And she told us to be quiet, to not wake her up? She's under. I'm not sure that's how anesthetics work. Imagine if it was. Imagine if like you could wake someone up when they're under anesthetics. Everyone would have to be so quiet in the operating room. The surgeons would be like, shh. She fell into a deep sleep. Wait, why are they in the cemetery? She's not there yet. Yeah, don't do it like that. Leaving me lonely after 29 years of attachment. We had been soon hospitalized and mentally prepared. <laughs> mentally prepared. Get it? Brain exercising? They've been preparing for this. That's clever. I like that. Yet it was still really heartbreaking to me. I cried a lot, but I'm grateful to be able to be with her at the last Aww. moment. This is so sad. Aided here. Doctors in the state with the latest machines in medicine. Honestly, she's also the same doctor they've been showing us the whole time, but okay. And now they predict that the death of Emily's conjoined body will cause <sighs> blood loss in the living twin, which is me. I only have a few Ooh. hours to be saved with a major operation. That was why we had to be in the hospital before Emily died, so the surgeons would be ready to handle the critical situation. They are coming to take me away, guys. Separation surgeries usually take more than 10 hours, but the possibility of success is not guaranteed so because scary. sepsis can occur when an infection from Emily's deceased twin body. Oh, accurate diagram of human anatomy right here. They've been teaching it wrong in schools. Your organs actually have their own faces. Some are happy, some are sad. Somewhat angry. Sorry, guys, that I, I make jokes. I feel like I can because it's probably not a real story. <laughs> I hope not, at least. Overwhelms my system, leading to organ failure. I know all of those facts really well, but still agreed to undergo this surgery, all because of my promise to Emily. I promised her that I would continue to live. Not sure if that's a promise you can keep. Continue to nurture our dream of inspiring the whole world after her death. Why is everyone yelling at her? I will take over the teaching tasks of both of us, like we used to do together. I will also take care of my parents for Emily. I did not allow myself to give up, but had to try twice as much for my beloved Emily. Aww. My Emily is sleeping peacefully, isn't she? Isn't Eternal she? sleep. I'll find her in the afterlife when I die to continue being your perfect half, but not yet. Maybe she'll make it. Let's stay positive over here. Why is it so sad? Promise to keep with my twin sister. Please pray for me. Goodbye. And I look forward to seeing you after the surgery, if it succeeds. For now, I have to go. What? They're just gonna end it like that? That's the rudest thing I've ever seen. Is there another, for, like, part two? Guys, I need to know what happens. Is she okay? Does it stop because she's not okay? <laughs>
What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I think she makes it. Well, there isn't a part two. But if you guys want to see some of these awesome animations, they're done by Life Diary. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet. And don't forget we know each other. Bye-bye.